Hello! Today we are going to be talking about the difference between Alaskan Malamutes and Huskies. This is a question I get asked pretty much every day when we go to restaurants in the drive-thru, when we get delivery, when we go to the mall, even in Instagram. People say, oh my god, I love your Husky! And I'm like, oh, he's not a Husky! And they look at me like, this is a crazy woman or something like that. And when I told them, it's a Malamute, they told me, oh, it's a husky mixed with a German Shepherd? And I'm like, no, it's an Alaskan Malamute. And a lot of people don't know what an Alaskan Malamute is. So I want to make a video explaining the difference between the two breeds and to educate people, because I used to get really, really angry and really mad when people called my dog that he was a ma and that he was a mix between Shepherd and Huskies and a mix between this and that. Now I get more chill and I like educate them and let them know there's more northern breeds. It's not just Huskies or it's not just Shepherds. So one of the main difference and is the well Siberian Husky like the name say. They are from Siberia, from Russia from a tribe of native Russians. They're from a tribe in Russia called the Shukshi. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. If not, I'm sorry Russians out there. Um, I think it's Shukshi. I will put the name right here so you could see how it's spelled. And the Alaskan Malamute, they are native from Alaska. They are American dogs. They're also from a tribe in Alaska from the Inu people. And the tribe name are the Malhamuts. I believe that's how you pronounce the name. I will also put the name here so you can see how it's spelled. It's a tribe, the nomadic people in Alaska. They used to have these dogs over 4,000 years ago to help them to carry stuff very heavy in really nasty weather. So these dogs have a lot of endurance and they are very strong, intelligent, powerful. They have a really long prey drive. That They also have that in common with Huskies. The difference in that aspect is the Husky is, was mainly for more endurance and go longest times. The Malamute, they are stronger and they are meant to power and to pull stronger loads of stuff. Another of the difference between Malamutes and Huskies are the height. The Huskies, they normally are between 20 to 23 inches tall to, from the floor to the shoulder versus Malamutes, they are 23 to 25 from the floor to the shoulder. So they're normally like three to five inches taller than Huskies. That reflects also in the weight. The weight, Huskies are normally between 35 pounds to 60 pounds, where Malamus days are more or less 75 pounds, and they are, a lot of them are over 100 pounds. Venus weighed 100 pounds, Apollo, he's still a puppy, he's still one year old, and he weighs 95 pounds. Another of the difference that you could see like very obvious is the color in the eyes. Malamutes have brown eyes, that noise is Nefertiti or prey dog drinking water. <laughs> um, Malamutes have brown eyes versus Huskies. Huskies could have brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes, or a mix of both. They could have one eye being blue and the other one being brown, or being one half blue, half brown, and the other one another color. So that's very common in Huskies versus Malamutes. Normal, the AKC don't recognize a Malamute with blue eyes. So Malamis only have brown eyes. That's one of the main differences that you could see. Also the ears. Huskies have pointy ears like right here in the middle of the head versus Malamis, they have it more wide. They have a wider head, a bigger head, so it's wider and the ears are wider like around here versus Huskies have them here very pointy. The Siberian Husky first came to America in the 1909 for races in Alaska, that's when they are first registered uh, Siberian Huskies in, uh, in America. And after that, people start breeding both 
breeds, Alaskan and Siberians, and making a new breed called the Alaskan Husky. The pretty much is something in between both of them. It has the strain of the Malamute with the speed of the Husky, and those you could find them with blue eyes. They normally have the height of the Malamute, but they have blue eyes and they are very quick and fast. The AKC don't recognize the Alaskan Husky as a breed, so you can get papers. In basically, it's a mat. I don't like to use that word too much, but they are basically a mat between Huskies and uh, Malamutes, and they are used uh, really well for sledding right now because they have like the best of both dogs. They have the strain of one, the speed of the other one. The both breeds are very stubborn. So that's the one of the downsides of both breeds. They are really, really hard to train. If you're thinking in getting Horsky or Malamute or Alaskan Husky, think about it. Make sure you also have extra money to pay for a good trainer because they're stubborn and they're a breed that they need training. It's not like a dog that you put in your yard and he's gonna learn on his own and you're gonna tell them sit and he's gonna sit the first time. It takes time, they're very smart, they will learn all the tricks. Venus, she learned pretty fast, so is Apollo, but they're very stubborn, so we have to reinforce their trainer pretty much every other day. We train them, make sure they have fresh in their mind what they have to do, because they are a, a stubborn breed, both of them. Huskies, Malamutes, and Alaskan Huskies are also stubborn. The Siberian Husky is friendlier with other dogs and um, Malamutes are friendly, friendlier sorry, friendlier with humans more than with other dogs and Alaskan Malamute could be sometimes aggressive towards their same gender when we have been uh, first for uh, two and a half years when we were thinking of getting another one and our trainer told us get a boy because female could be very aggressive towards another female because they are pack animals and they want to put their hierarchy and it could be something that you have to think about it when you're bringing a new puppy home. So the main common things between Alaskan Malamutes and Huskies are they're very intelligent, they're very stubborn, they have a high prey drive so if they see like a little bunny or a squirrel they more than likely will run after them so you have to have them on a leash and if you're gonna have them out of leash you have to train them really really good and being consistent with their training it's not like oh I trained them when they were a puppy they're trained because they need reinforcement they need motivation they need you being there for them and help them to get better with their training as they grow old it's not a breed that you train once and that's it. It's like a magic spell and they will be trained forever. They also have, both of them have double coat that it will help them with the cold and the heat. This is a question I also get asked a lot like, oh, how your Malamute does in Florida? They do pretty well. They're inside dogs. They never, like, they only go outside when we are walking them or to potty on if we are traveling with them and we are walking them but normally they are inside the house we keep the house pretty cold and we have fans for them but the double coat help them to keep them cold or keep them warm depending on the weather is like an isolating coat and the huskies also have a sim pretty similar coat that it work on the same way they are both sled dogs which means they are born and bred to run they have a lot of energy that you need to walk them every day. It's not a dog that if you live in a small apartment complex, you should have. Because you need to walk them for a long distance, play with them, because they have high energy. Both of them, especially Huskies, have a little more than Malamutes. Malamutes are a little more calm, but they are both high energy dogs. I will recommend you having a yard and also take them on walks to because they were they were bred to run for miles and miles and miles on the arctic so they are very energetic dogs they are born to run and to walk a long distance 
So those are things that you should have in mind before buying a puppy. Because it's a breed that it could easily end up in the Humane Society or in a um, shelter for dogs and either put down. Because people see them, oh they look so beautiful in Game of Thrones. They look, they look so beautiful, they, that's the dog I always have want. But they don't know, they're very stubborn. They're difficult to train. Not impossible, because Venus and Apollo are really well trained, both of them. But it took us time, money and dedication for them. That's some things you should have to think like, when you're buying a dog, any dog, non husky, non malamute, it could be a pug, a Shih Tzu, a Yorkie, a Chihuahua, a German Shepherd, whichever dog you're buying, do your research, look what they need, if they need a yard, if they need a house, if they need um, a lot of entertainment, if they need a lot of toys, if it's a dog that you could be good with kids if you're planning to have kids in the future. We don't have kids, but Malamute are pretty good with kids if in the future we decide to have kids. Huskies, they're really good with all our dogs, so if you have multiple dogs at the house, they do really good. Do your research, educate yourself before buying any puppy. Because it will suck to bring at home this dog that you thought it was beautiful in Game of Thrones. And then when you have it home, you realize, oh my god, they eat a lot. They need a lot of energy. I work a lot, I don't have the time to do this and that. So please do your research. Thank you for watching. And I will be inserting some videos of difference between Venus and uh, playing with other huskies. So I hope you enjoy that. Bye!